Does it maybe remind you of the voltage divider we've been using at the generator side? Except instead of using Z0, what are we using here? RL, the load impedance. That is, this equation is just a voltage divider with the load impedance connected directly to the generator. In other words, the transmission line's characteristic impedance, Z0, has no effect on the steady state values. If you let enough time elapse, the steady state voltage on the transmission line is the same voltage as if you would have the load connected directly to the generator. Likewise, the steady state current can be obtained from the steady state voltage. This steady state current appears everywhere along the transmission line. Okay, so let's go back to the scenario, scenario we had earlier when we created the bounce diagrams. We looked at the first several reflections. Let's revisit this problem, except now you can check to see if the value we obtain for the steady state voltage using the formulas we just developed where we assume the load is directly connected to the generator. And we can check to see if it's the value you calculate.